what's poppin' Jin Bop here coming today with Human Resource Machine. Now apparently this is a game that's grounded in logistics, which why am I fucking playing this game? But anyways, uh I don't know too much about it beyond that, but I do like the little little swingy jazzy tune it's got going along with it. So let's go ahead and dive into the game. Yes, please select your employee ID. Um, they're all blank. They all look like they're having a pretty good time, but I'm gonna go ahead and go with this guy here. He looks like yeah, there we go. Here's your badge. Please proceed to the elevator. Welcome, employees. All right, so first of all, I got to do... Oh, oh, the mail room. Welcome to your first day. You look like an excellent instruction follower. Your first job will appear over there on the right side in a moment. Remember, you can always ask me for help. So drag commands in this area to build a program. Your program should tell your worker to grab each thing from the inbox and drop it into the outbox. So I remember hearing somewhere that this game is actually sort of a good basis for learning programming because, well, when you learn programming, you're basically giving a computer a set of instructions to follow. I actually coded in uh, Java for a little bit, and um, just as a heads up, I'm not good at this. In fact, like, I spent half of my time pulling my hair out when I was trying to learn how to program because my code would never compile properly. So, um, let's go ahead and... Well, the first one seems pretty simple. It's goes from the inbox, goes to the outbox. That's like pretty straightforward, right? Look, see, I know how to numbers. All right, here we go. Yes, my presence is requested on the next floor. Oh, move it up in the world, right? Move it up there. All right, so next is the busy mail room, which um, I guess is the same as the mail room, only there's more numbers now, I guess. Oh, no, no, I didn't mean to go back to this one. It's like when I go into an elevator and I end up clicking the button that came right from the floor camera. Well, it looks like you made it this far. Congratulations on your promotion. Most people stress out and quit before making it this far. That's kind of sad. But I can tell you I have a bright feature in inbox and outbox management. Here's your new assignment. Grab each thing from the inbox and drop one into the outbox. You got a new command. You can drop jump arrows to jump to different lines within your program. With this new ability, you can complete this assignment using only three total commands. So if that's the case, I think what I can do is inbox to outbox and then jump and bring the jump back to the beginning so that it repeats it in a loop repeatedly, infinitely, until I die. And I, oh my God, this is such a good metaphor for life. And I just made myself super depressed. Is this all that it means to inbox and outbox for the remainder of my days? Well, existential crisis aside, let's go ahead and actually do our job. So, uh, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and you, you, you got this, man. You don't need me to uh, hold my, you don't need to hold your hand throughout every step of the process here. Oh no, the inbox conveyor system is completely broken. But that doesn't mean we get to take a break from work. All right, so. Ignore the inbox for now and just send the following three letters to the outbox. Oh, okay. B, and then outbox that, and then copy from you. Yeah, look at this, me learning how to make a program. Man, I could make a video game of my own, like right now if I wanted to. Go for it, man. B, U, G. And out it goes. I am a genius. Look at that. Even the secretaries are moving up in life. The conveyor system is fixed and just in time for you to get to work. The data won't collate itself. Okay, so I can copy two, I guess, onto the floor. So I don't have to outbox it repeatedly. All right, okay, okay. Okay. And, okay, um, fuck. Oh, no, no, copy, no. Copy from... No. no, 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 wait, 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 wait. Okay, I got this, I got this. You can just directly outbox that, and then you copy from zero, and then you outbox that, right? Yeah, yeah, look, look. Look, see? Yeah! Oh, box, and then outbox, and then a jump that loops it. Look at that, logistics. I know how to manage a fucking business. Jim Bob Industries, LTD. Bad outbox, management expected J, but you outboxed at. Do I have to reverse all of them? Grab the first two things from the inbox and drop them to the outbox in the reverse order. 
And by... Okay, no, no, wait, 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 wait. Oh, God, I gotta stop and actually use my brain for this. This is why I hate coding. And then I inbox again and then outbox that. And then I copy from zero. And then I outbox that. And then I jump and repeat the entire process until there's nothing left. Right? Right? Let's give it a try. All right. And then I do a one. And now they're expecting an I, but I gotta get, get this Q out of the way first. And then I put the I there. And then I put the Q. Yes! I am slowly making my way forward in the world. I know how to sort things. See, this is what I hated about coding and learning how to program because computers can't interpret shortcuts or any instruction beyond the actual technical directions that you give it. The moment a computer learns how to interpret human direction is the moment they start conquering us and killing all of humanity. All right, let's go ahead and move on to the next floor. Look, hey, coffee time. So now I get to take a break, right? Oh, hey, look, it's all the secretaries and stuff. Just, man, they are going at that coffee. Year six, man, I'm gonna be working here for the rest of my life, aren't I? For each two things in the inbox, add them together and put the results in the outbox. Inbox, I gotta take it from there and then copy it, oops, no. Copy it to one of the spots, and then I take the next one from the inbox and I add it to that. And then I copy from that spot, and then I send it to the outbox, and then I do this for everything until there's nothing left. Right? Right? Oh, please let this be right. God damn it. Like, everyone looks for me to be able to solve these solutions. I should know it. No! Fuck! Oh, okay, so I don't want to copy from I, I added up the three and I just grabbed the one that was on the fucking floor and got rid of it I like how my guy looks so happy and not bothered about it. He's like I, I feel like I did good All right, if that's the case, I don't want to copy from I'll just take that from the equation entirely And then I'll just execute it as follows. Yeah, here you go Add those together and into the outbox it goes. Oh my god, I'm so good at managing these logistical tingle bit things. Man, I should be in your chair. Look at you sitting through this papers. I'm not good at math. Well, neither am I, but I know how to put together a formula that'll solve everything for me. Yeah! Year six complete. My presence is requested on the next floor. Man, moving even further up it. What the hell? So now I get to choose a branch. All right, let's go with seven, because it's the next logical step up from six. Where do you see yourself in five years? Behind your desk! Or ten years? I have a note here from your other boss that says, from this point on, your performance will be evaluated with extra scrutiny. Oh, god damn it. Send all things that are not zero to the outbox you got a new command it jumps only if the value you are holding is zero otherwise it continues to the next line take it from the inbox and then i outbox and then if it's zero i jump down here wait hang on does does this make sense can i do that so if it's if it's okay so i'll go inbox and outbox and then jump if zero so if it's zero, it jumps forward. If it's if it's not a zero, it'll skip this step and then go back to the jump, which loops it. And if it is a zero, it'll jump forward into another. Ah, oh, brain meats! Take it from the inbox and then jump all the way back to the beginning, maybe. All right, let's try that because that way he's just throw away anything. Empty value can't jump if zero with empty hands. Wait, what? Oh, no, no, wait, wait, wait. I don't have to completely simplify this process. Hang on. All right, what I could do is I could take it from the inbox, and then if it's a zero, jump back to the just doing it as an inbox again. And then otherwise, you just outbox it, and then you jump back to the very beginning. Right? I feel like it's a way simpler pro- Let's try that. Outbox, and then if zero, throw that away. There you go! Ha-ha! <laughs> Check that shit out! Look at that logistics management and all that shit, man. I just exterminated those zeros! Size challenge, use few, four or fewer commands. Which use- I use four or fewer commands! Oh man, awesome! I got the shortest possible route because I know how to sort of manage things. Sorry, for each thing in the inbox, triple it and outbox the results. All right, so first I gotta take it from the inbox and then copy it to a slot, and then I will 
add add it once add it twice outbox it and then I do it all over again does that work tripled and out it goes yes I like this I like this I'm becoming smarter as a human being all right my ninth year I'm almost a decade into working for this company it's come to our attention that the zero advocacy community felt that the previous assignment was not inclusive this time send only the zeros to the outbox what was the other numbers and letters Management leaves that detail up to you. All right, so what I want to do is I want to inbox, and then if it's zero, fuck. Makes sense. I jump back to the beginning if it's not a zero. Jump if zero to outbox, and then I jump all the way back to the beginning. Right? R no, wait. Hey, fuck, I moved it somewhere. Inbox, and then throw it away. But if it's a zero, jump forward, and then outbox it. And then afterwards... Do it all over again until there's nothing left. Go! Inbox, throw it away. Yep, here we go. So, Jin Bob, tell me what it's like to be the smartest human being alive. Well, I know you guys probably think I'm overreacting with the fact that I know how to sort of play this game, but I can't tell you how good it feels that I actually know how to use my brain properly. Like, I'm actually brain functioning, and I didn't get the second thing. Damn. The hey Dave, my years are over, but all right, you guys, that was Human a Resource Machine. You guys like this game, you like this commentary. Go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button. That would mean a lot to me, and I'd love to see you guys again in future videos. All right, so I got a set of instructions for you guys. First step is to subscribe. Second step is to like this video. Third is to go to the next video, and then you loop back to step 1.5. And then you repeat until you've gone through every single video on my channel, and this is actually kind of fun. I want to think of everything in terms of step directions now. But until the next video, guys, thanks again so much for watching. Goodbye.